everybody. Welcome back to Wellness Wednesday. It's Kelsey and Shelby here, and we hope that you had a Merry Christmas with your family yesterday. So today we're going to bring you guys a wonderful recipe for how you can repurpose some of those leftovers. I know that we usually have a lot of leftovers mm -hmm. after the holidays, and a lot of times you get tired of eating the same thing. So hopefully we're going to give you a good idea on how you can change that up a little bit to give you some variety. But before we get started, we wanted to remind you guys that in the new year, we are going to be having our Life Steps weight management program start. So Life Steps is a comprehensive weight management program. It meets weekly for about 16 weeks as a group. So if you are looking for that group support or maybe that accountability to reach your health goals, then maybe Life Steps is the right program for you. So if you'd like to find out more information and learn more about Life Steps, we do have some free information sessions that are going to be starting at the beginning of January here at the health park. So our first information session is going to be January 8th at 530 and then our second information session is January 15th at 530 as well. So the class will actually start on January 29th. So if you'd like to come learn more about the program, please come to that free information session. If you have more questions, feel free to give us a call or shoot us an email. So without further ado, Shelby's gonna go ahead and get into our awesome recipe for today. All right, so my favorite thing around the holidays is mashed potatoes, but you can have too much of a good thing, and I seem to have it at every meal for several days straight, and we always have leftovers. So we're gonna repurpose our mashed potatoes today. Now we're starting from scratch on our mashed potatoes, but if you have some that are already made, you might just use some of these ingredients. Just keep that in mind. But what we've done here is we boiled our mashed potatoes. We actually boiled them with some garlic just to add a little bit more flavor. And we went ahead, drained them and mashed them before we get started. So we're just gonna add in all the good ingredients. First, we're gonna add in about a cup of canned pumpkin. So that's kind of interesting, right? But adding this pumpkin adds a lot of nutrients. We know that orange color of our pumpkin is actually a nutrient called beta carotene. It acts as an antioxidant in your body. So it's a great one to add in. Not to mention it's got tons of fiber in it as well, that pumpkin, and it's gonna lighten up these uh, mashed potatoes a bit. We're gonna throw in some spices. So we're gonna do some salt and pepper and a little bit of sage, just to add a little bit more of the holiday flavor and some cream cheese. Now remember, if you've already got this in your leftovers, you don't have to add more. This is that reduced fat cream cheese. We like to use that because it tastes just as good and adds creaminess, but has less fat. And then we're putting in some skim milk. Now we're just gonna mix all of this together. If you have a masher, you might mash it before you mix it. That way everything gets well combined but this is a great recipe. And in fact, you can kind of fool people. This would be a good April Fool's recipe because it starts to actually look like sweet potato mash after it all gets mixed in. So I'm just gonna keep mixing this. And Kelsey, why don't you tell them a little bit about the nutrition facts? Sure, so the serving size is about half of a cup. And so this recipe actually makes about six servings. And the calories for this is about 106 calories. So when we substitute some of our potatoes and we add in some of that pumpkin, that's gonna just lighten it up a little bit, lower the calories. There's mm -hmm. gonna be about 17 grams of carbohydrate and it's also gonna be lower in fat because we use that low fat dairy. So a great way to get your kids involved too. Mm -hmm. They might, you know, be, think that's fun to use the pumpkin in the potatoes and it might, be, potatoes. Yeah, might yeah. be a great way to get them involved too. And great for any any family members who maybe have diabetes and need a little bit of a lower carbohydrate option. Mm -hmm. So if you're ready, let's give it a try. I'm ready. All right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Still taste the potato, but a little bit of freshness from the pumpkin. Mm -hmm. But it's not overpowering. Mm -hmm. It's a great ratio. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And still very creamy from all of that cream cheese that we added. Mm -hmm. I think that's a winner. If you get to try this recipe, please let us know what you think. Add it to the comments and let us know if you've made this at home with your leftovers. And don't forget, if you wanna find more of our recipes or old videos that we've made during this year, cause it's about to end, mm -hmm. you can always go to owensboroughhealth.org nutrition. 
So we will see you guys next year on Wellness Wednesday, your place to get well one bite at a time.